This is CRE Radio and TV. Today, we're going to be talking about shifting your investment strategies as the market changes. We'll be right back. You're watching CRE Radio and TV. Today's guest is Mark Foster. He's the General Counsel, Vice President, and Secretary for Sabal Financial Group. Sabal focuses its investment strategies on doing what the main players are not doing and then getting to the market first. Let's go to the videotape. I've had an in-house counsel position for real estate firms for the last 15 years and I've been with Sabal for two years. It's an opportunistic, growth-oriented real estate firm with um, 11 distinct business lines, and we're growing quickly. Opportunistic, growth-oriented. What yeah. does that mean? That means looking where there are market inefficiencies, in particular, what the main players in real estate are not doing, and going there first, staying ahead of the curve from an investment standpoint. For example, the banks are, well, we started our, the company's roots start from buying distressed debt from the FDIC and banks during the height of the downturn. There were very few players in the space there. We acquired the first large FDIC portfolio as well as several from banks um, at the time because we'd invested up front in technology and developed a strategy to take take advantage of the market downturn. A lot of people talked about it, very few people did it, so we actually did it. Um, now, as the distressed debt world um, is not as robust, we've pivoted to focus one on Europe, which is expanding, and I think probably in a 2007 feel right now, um, and then um, lending. Right now, banks are, are not lending at a pace at which is necessary to take, to, to, to pull all of the commercial real estate properties out of the CMBS market. And that's what we're focused on. And small balance um, loans from 1 million to 10 million, which are not the big guys with the trophy high rise downtown LA assets. It's the, the doctor's group that owns, you know, a, a 10,000 square foot retail uh, facility. And so th those are, that's what we're focused on, and we, we know there's a lot of opportunity there because it's just not competition yet. I would imagine uh, intensive due diligence in what your, your uh, group is doing. Well, that's a good uh, question, but I will tell you in the acquisition space of portfolios, you're given a couple weeks to underwrite uh, hundreds of properties, and so you cannot do intensive due diligence, so you have almost a grab bag approach to investing, where if you discount your price enough, you can deal with the misses. And you know, because of our market uh, data and the analytics we use when we buy a portfolio, we stay ahead of, ahead of the, the curve and sort of have a real-time market accuracy, which lets us bid and be successful in our bidding. Remember to support our sponsor, Alan Matkins. Without their considerable support, we wouldn't be able to provide this content to our viewers without charge to the viewer. Alan Matkins is a premier law firm based out of Los Angeles, California. Among the wide variety of practice areas, Alan Matkins is particularly known for its real estate practice. If you would like to know more about the law firm of Alan Matkins, click on the highlighted logo. Also, if you would like to be a sponsor of CRE Radio and have your logo placed behind me on other videos, send an email to sponsor at CREradio.com or click on the highlighted link. I am in. That's the Information Management Network, has some great conferences to attend. One of my favorites is the General Counsel and CFO Forums. 
If you'd like to attend the General Council and CFO Forum in New York City on September 28th and 29th and get a 10% discount, click on the highlighted link.